Hi you once again, Tim with Tim's Computer Repair here. Got another repair video for you. This is an MSI Infinite X Plus built by MSI. Basically what's going on with this is that he says he's getting blue screens. I don't know, we're gonna to have to investigate this guy. Never had one of these in my shop. You can see how they got a vert vertical uh, video card here. Not even sure what card that is. Honestly, it's an RTX card though, so not that old. Um, there's a shroud here. There's the uh, riser cable that comes out of the PCI Express slot, so it hooks into the video card so you can mount it vertically like this. A couple sticks of RAM you can see in there. Not sure what the processor is. I haven't exactly looked into that yet. Single rad water cooler. Hmm. Single rad cooler, huh? MSI, hmm. Blue screens, huh? Don't know. We'll have to investigate further. I can tell that he's been in this computer. I think he had mentioned to me that he had this has gone a little bit beyond his knowledge or what have you, but I can tell he's been in this because this this little divider here is not in its proper slot. So you can you can definitely see that. That's okay. No big deal. He tried to troubleshoot it himself. Maybe he didn't get very far with it. Don't know, or he hasn't gotten the results that he was hoping for. So we're gonna go ahead and um, test this machine. The very first thing I would like to do is boot this thing up and get into the BIOS so I can take a look, so we can take a look at the, the temps, because well. Single rad MSI. How many of those have we done or replaced? So we're going to start right there. Okay, we've got everything plugged in. Monitors plugged in, ready to roll. See if we get a post. BIOS. BIOS, BIOS, BIOS. Okay, where is our temperatures? Okay. Okay. CPU temp. 28C. That's pretty good. Let's see if we. See if we get it to rise any here. It'll rise some. No, I think that's going to be looking pretty good actually. It's an i9, 9900K. Give it a bit. See if those temperatures rise any more than that. It doesn't look like it. 29C is not bad. It's okay, it's 32 gigs of RAM. Yeah, I would say that his water cooler is is probably okay. If that was if that was a failing cooler, it would be ramping up pretty rapidly right now. Well, let's just boot up into normal mode and stress test this guy. See if we can get it to blue screen like he's saying. Ah, BCD. That's an immediate, that's an immediate error. BCD. Interesting. Here's a boot rec command. Repair your BCD. Maybe we'll try that. Let me try. F1. I think it's what? Rebuild BCD, isn't it? Boot rec space forward slash rebuild BCD. That blue screen gave us exactly what we were talking about. So you go to F8. Yeah, F8. Yeah, we're just stuck. How about that? Let's press enter. Oh, we're just stuck here. Look at this. F1. Okay, F1 rebooted the machine, so we're not getting into any recovery mode here at all. And straight to a blue screen. Okay, escape. Let's see what escape does here. Yep, brings us into the BIOS. Very, very interesting. So the BIOS is showing one Samsung SSD in a PCI Express slot, so that would be an M.2. And this is showing one SATA port 3. It looks like a Seagate hard drive or an SSD. So, down in here, we can see the M.2 drive down there. And then if you look at the SATA connectors here. There's one right there. 
that goes down into the shroud. But I'm seeing another one right here. And that is also going down into the shroud. So I'm going to have to open up the back of this case and identify what other drive is in here. I assume that the operating system is on that M.2. But let's investigate further. Okay, well, now we know. We can see down here. There is a Seagate mechanical hard drive. Very seriously doubt he's booting Windows from there, but never assume anything. Then we see up here what looks to be SSD. But if we look even closer, this is empty. There is only one other drive like the bio shows. It's this one. So I, you know, I would uh, just go ahead and assume that the operating system is coming in off of that, off of that uh, M.2 drive. So um, I'm going to pull that drive and see if I even see uh, file structure on there. That'll be interesting to see. Let's find out. Okay. First thing we got to do is get this shroud off or well, this divider actually. Uh, bef before I can take that off, I actually have to disconnect this riser adapter here to the video card. So you want to press down like you would any, like if you were going to remove a video card. Well, you're going to have to loosen the divider first because it's actually sitting on top of that. So there is a screw right down here that I can take off that will loosen that divider. There's that one. And then there's also another one back here, right near the, right near the uh, IO shield. So those two are off. Now, simply slide up, and that'll allow me now to take off that PCI Express, yep, riser little adapter there. So then we can just feed that through a little slot here. Here's that. Good. Now we have access to the M.2. Honestly, I don't think he's got a video card problem. There we go. Let's pop this up on my uh, bench computer here and see if uh, I see the file structure. The file structure is there. This is inside the users folder. There's also a Windows folder. So it looks like we've got just a corrupted bootloader. See what we can do about uh, correcting that, even though we can't even boot to a recovery uh, from this drive. But Let's back up his data because he did say he would like not to lose that data. So while I'm in here, I'm just going to back that up. Throw a little bit of clear disk info. Yeah, drive's in good shape. No problem. Okay, let's take it to the next step. Back up his data. I'm going to put it back into the machine and see if we can repair the bootloader. Okay, we've got, we've booted to some Windows Media off of my uh, USB Windows 10 installer. You get to this point where it says install Windows, all you really want to do is go down to repair your computer. And now we got into our recovery options here. So we want to go to troubleshoot. And the first thing we want to try is startup repair. Windows 10. And let's see if that gets us anywhere because we weren't even getting that on the original install. We'll see what that gives us. Nope, that just puts us right back booting from the USB flash drive, so that's not going to work. Let's try the next step. Repair your computer. Troubleshoot. Let's just for the heck of it try System Restore. Nope, no restore points. Troubleshoot. Command prompt. So now we have to determine if we are in the correct directory, it defaults to X. What we want to do is ensure that we're trying to repair the correct partition. 
So in this particular partition, which is X, sometimes, and sometimes CMD reads the drive letters different than Windows itself. This says X, but it could be the C drive. So the only way to tell is if you type DIR as a command, press enter, this will show you everything that's in that one directory. And uh, what you're looking for is a uh, Windows folder and a Users folder. And if you see those two items and you know you're in the right directory, right here, you don't see any of that. So this is not the correct directory. Let's just try the regular C directory and see what we get. So we'll do C colon. Now we're in the C directory. Let's type DIR. And let's see, Magix Coral Docs Picks. This is not the C directory. This has some other things in it, so that is not the C directory. Let's try D. Let's try D. D is not a recognize. Okay. Oh no, I'm sorry. D colon. Oops. D colon. Okay, we're in D now. Let's type DIR. Users in Windows. See it right here. So now we know we're in the correct directory. Excellent. We're in the correct directory. Windows.old tells me that he's upgraded this computer at some point. So now that we're in the right directory, we're going to type in some commands. We're going to find out what some of these boot rec commands are. So just type boot rec. This will show you some of the things that you can type in after boot rec. There's fix MBR, there's fix boot, and then the rebuild BCD, BCD is the one of the errors that we were getting. So let's see if we can try uh, boot rec. Space forward slash fix MBR. Press enter. The operation did complete successfully. So then we'll do the next one. Boot rec. Space four slash. Fix boot. Press enter. That says access is denied. Let's go ahead and try rebuild BCD. Boot rec. Space. Four slash. Rebuild. B, C, D. Press enter. Scanning. Successfully scanned. Total identify Windows installation, so it doesn't even see the installation. So this is not looking good. Not looking good at all. I've seen this so many times with Windows 10 and 11. Well, let's reboot. I'm going to pull this flash drive out and let's see if it did anything at all. Let's reboot. No. Nope. Yep. So everyone, this is going to be a nuke and pave. Thanks for watching. I hope you learned something today. Tim with Tim's Computer Repair. See you soon.